Hey guys, how do you do? Welcome to the show programming users. We'll continue with the JS JavaScript series of tutorials. We're still building the foundation right here by doing basic uh, tutorial right here. Previously, we've looked at loops. Now, today, uh, we're going to see how to prompt and validate numbers. Okay, this is just a simple tutorial right here for beginners. Okay, just to get us up to speed, of course, with JavaScript. So you come right here. We'll, this is the tutorial we're covering. If we come right here in our page, we have it already. Of course, the source code and everything right in text tutorial. We also have an editor right here, JS Bin. Okay. So you can see what we do is very simple. Our first thing, of course, we need to prompt uh, the user to enter some data. So var value prompt enter number right here. The user enters a number. Now this prompt right here, of course, is going to is a function that's going to return for us the value that the user has actually entered. So we assign it right here to our value variable. The first thing we check if we make sure that our value right here is not null. Okay, if it's not equal to null, and value is not empty. If the user doesn't type, it's actually going to be empty right here. Okay, if so, if the user if that's not the case, then we come and check if not is none. Now is none. This implies is not a number. Okay, so we're checking if this is not none is not right, meaning that if it's actually is a, it's a number. Of course, we are passing in the value right here. So if this is none is false, meaning that if it's actually a number, so we're going to come and say a lot we're going to show is a number, value is a number. Otherwise, value is not a number. Alright, now let's go ahead and run the project for instance let's say we enter 98 you can see 98 is a number this one gets evaluated right here then of course if let's say negative 9.856 uh, we come this is a number right here okay just as we expect now let's say zero of course uh, zero is a number then we come right here let's say I Y T. This of course is not a number, so it's not a number right here. Okay, that's it. It's just simple, guys. This is a beginner tutorial. You guys can come right here, and then of course play with it. Okay, so go ahead, play with it. It's actually a beginner tutorial. You can also browse for other uh, JavaScript beginner tutorials right here. We're just building our foundation because we're going to be doing a lot of JavaScript development. Okay, the upcoming tutorials. Otherwise, guys. Take care, I'll catch you in the next classes.